Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the mysteries of God's love. Let us call to mind our sins, and let us beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd, leading us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, who through the regenerating power of baptism have been pleased to confer on us heavenly life, Grant, we pray, that those you render capable of immortality by justifying them may by your guidance attain the fullness of glory through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul reached also Derby and Lystra, where there was a disciple named Timothy, 
the son of a Jewish woman who was a believer, but his father was a Greek. The brothers in Lystra and Iconium spoke highly of him, and Paul wanted him to come along with him. On account of the Jews of that region, Paul had him circumcised, for they all knew that his father was a Greek. As they travel from city to city, they handed on to the people for observance the decisions reached by the apostles and presbyters in Jerusalem. Day after day, the churches grew stronger in faith and increased in number. They traveled through the Prigerian and Galatian territory because they had been prevented by the Holy Spirit from preaching the message in the province of Asia. When they came to Mysia, they tried to go on into Bithynia, but the Spirit of Jesus did not allow them. So they crossed through Mysia and came down to Troas. During the night, Paul had a vision. A Macedonian stood before him and implored him with these words, Come over to Macedonia and help us. When he had seen the vision, we sought passage to Macedonia at once, concluding that God had called us to proclaim the good news to them. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him with joyful song. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Know that the Lord is God. He made us. His we are. His people, the flock He tends. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. The Lord is good. His kindness endures forever. And His faithfulness to all generations. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. If then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If the world hates you, realize that it hated me first. If you belong to the world, the world would love its own. But because you do not belong to the world, and I have chosen you out of the world, the world hates you. Remember the word I spoke to you, no slave is greater than his master. 
If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they kept my word, they will also keep yours. And, and they will do all these things to you on account of my name, because they do not know the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, our readings today remind me of something that C.S. Lewis wrote. He said, hardships often prepare ordinary people for an extraordinary destiny. Hardships often prepare ordinary people for an extraordinary destiny. Our first reading today is about the second missionary journey of St. Paul. Paul wanted to visit the Christian communities that he had established in the past in order to strengthen their faith. Gusto niyang balikan yung mga naitatag niyang mga komunidad ng mga Kristiyano. Pero ibig sabihin nun, babalikan din niya yung mga lugar kung saan hindi siya tinanggap at kung saan siya ay inusig. There was danger. Because if he goes back to some of these communities, then he might be met again with rejection and persecution by those who do not want to believe. In our first reading today, we are told that Paul went to Lystra. The last time that Paul was in Lystra, he was stoned by the people. He was almost dead when they left him. But Paul went just the same. Despite the threats of being killed, and because Paul did not shy away from Lystra, he met Timothy. And Timothy would become one of the most valuable collaborators St. Paul would ever have. Timothy will be an important companion of St. Paul in his evangelization, in the mission of evangelization. Kung iniwasan ni Pablo ang listra, kung sinabi ni Pablo, iiwasan ko na lang yan, hindi ko na babalikan yan, baka mapatay na ako kapag bumalik pa ako dyan. Kung iniwasan niya at hindi siya nagpunta sa listra, hindi sana niya nakilala si Timoteo. At kung hindi niya nakilala si Timoteo, nawalan sana siya ng isang napakahalagang kaagapay sa misyon ng pagpapahayag ng salita ng Diyos. You see, sufferings, hardships, when we embrace them, give us blessings. In our gospel today, we heard flattering words, consoling words from Jesus. Jesus tells us, if they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they hated me, they will also hate you. But realize 
that if the world hates you, it hated me first. Parang sinasabi ni Jesus sa atin, huwag kayong matatakot kasi yung lahat ng pagdadaanan nyo, na pagdaanan ko na. I have been through all those, so do not be afraid. And if I was, if I was able to overcome all the persecutions, hardships, and trials, with me, you will also overcome. Kaya pala ang Kristiano, kaya pala ang sumusunod kay Jesus, ay matatag ang loob dahil alam niya na ang lahat ng kanyang pinagdaraan ng hirap at pagsubok na pagdaanan at napagtagumpayan na ni Jesus. Kung kasama natin si Jesus sa lahat ng mga pagsubok at paghihirap na ito, si Jesus na napagtagumpayan ang lahat ng ito, bakit tayo matatakot? Bakit tayo aatras? Bakit tayo maduduwag? Katulad ni Pablo, lakas loob nating haharapin anuman ang pagsubok at banta. For as long as we are doing God's mission, for as long as we are on the side of God, we will always be courageous because we know hardships and difficulties are just ways through which God prepares us for something better. My dear brothers and sisters, we all go through hardships, problems, difficulties. Iba't iba lang ng panahon, iba't iba lang ng degree, iba't iba lang ng paraan. Pero lahat tayo, dumadaan sa pagsubok. Lahat tayo dumaraan sa paghihirap. Lahat tayo may problema. Lahat tayo may pasan-pasan sa buhay. And so let us hold on to the words of Jesus for us today. We are not alone as we go through these problems, hardships, and persecutions. He is with us. And with Jesus, we know we will overcome. We should not be afraid. We should not shy away and avoid difficulties and problems. Huwag tayong maduduwag. Kailangan matatag ang ating loob dahil alam natin kasama natin si Jesus. At alam natin na ang mga pagsubok na ito ay hindi naman pang magpakailan man may katapusan din meron ding wakas ito'y paghahanda lamang para sa mga higit na bagay na inilalaan ng Diyos para sa atin and so when we face problems and difficulties let us not fix our gaze only on what we are experiencing but let us look forward let us ask, to what am I being prepared by God? Kapag may pinagdaraanan kang problema ngayon, kapag sinusubukan ng Panginoon ngayon, kapag nahihirapan ka ngayon, huwag kang nakatuon lamang sa hirap na iyong pinagdaraanan. Tumingin ka sa mas malayo at tanungin mo, Ano kaya ang dakilang bagay na ipinaghahanda sa akin ng Panginoon? Difficulties and hardships, persecutions and sufferings are just God's ways of preparing us for something better, for His greater gifts, for an extraordinary destiny. Let that be the source of our strength. Let, us, let that be the source of our hope. We 
We joyously praise the Lord who raised His Son from death and so assured us of eternal life. Let us ask the Lord's help in times of trial. And for every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That our pastors, especially the Pope and our bishops, may continue to nourish us with sound teachings let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are persecuted because of their belief in Jesus Christ may feel His sustaining power. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may find joy in our faith even when we are faced with trials and distress. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who suffer in this life, especially the sick, may be comforted by contemplating on the eternal life that Jesus offers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may come to the eternal feast in God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our own petitions. Let us remember the people who need our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. God our Father, you have chosen us to share your kingdom forever. Grant us strength to bear our sufferings and hardships in the knowledge that we will be raised through Jesus' saving power. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. By the oblation of His body, He brought the sacrifices of all to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commending Himself to you for our salvation, showed Himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is Yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name, Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. 
Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of the risen Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah.